Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here, and I want to make this video as a little something you should consider from now on until like the first wave of DLC items in Supply Drops, and it's that you should save every single Armory credit and Supply Drop you earn. And there's multiple reasons why you should do this. It may be a little bit difficult to resist the urge to open them, but in the end, the reward could be very, very satisfying. Now, back in Advanced Warfare, in Supply Drops, everything was predetermined. So from the moment you earned a Supply Drop, the contents you were going to get could be anything from the in-game loot that is already public. So if you were to save a few and open them up when new variants came out, you had no chance of getting anything new. And that system could still be in World War II unless they changed it, but I don't know, both Advanced Warfare and World War II are Sledgehammer games. But I think it's safe to say the best option to do is to just save your supply drops. I mean, there's not really much you can do with them because uh, there's nothing that is absolutely worth getting because everything is already uh, just cosmetic as of right now. And that will change later on in just a couple months, which is why I suggest saving your supply drops just in case. Yes, there were some DLC weapons that were found in the data files that could come within the timetable of DLC. DLC 1 in January so like I said it's best to just save those supply jobs as of right now and if you guys want to go check out some more info on those weapons there's a link to that in the bottom of this video I don't want to touch base too much on that as of right now uh, but just know that more weapons are coming soon but I'm not just saving supply jobs for weapons but also because if you have a higher social score that's going to give you better supply job odds we don't know how much better those odds are because as of right now it would take a lot more time to test that out so keep doing everything you can to increase that social score commend other players to boost up theirs and have them do it back to you challenge people to the shootout or the 1v one pit again do everything you can to raise that social score up now guys if you didn't know by now cod points are going to be coming in a few weeks here and instead of just spending money on cod points you can have a ton of supply jobs saved up already when new weapons come out in the new update and you can also save armory credits up so that when new weapons come out you can just blow them all in one weapon just like how some people did for modern warfare remastered so instead of just spending money on cod points you can get what you want directly or they might also do what mwr did and add those weapons to specific event supply drops like the arctic wolf drop or the operation line strike you could also get those items strictly from those individual operations which is what i'm kind of leaning more towards because they already have multiplayer and zombie supply drops in that little menu at the bottom right hand corner of your screen so it's a little obvious to see that they could add event supply drops there too and like most of you guys know by now the only in-game currency is the little armory credits so if you can purchase supply drops with those then by having a ton saved up when the new items come out you're pretty much guaranteed a weapon or two and also another little tiny reason why I'm saving up my loot boxes is because me and my friends are going to be doing a massive opening in the headquarters so one by one we're going to be going through them and all of our social scores should get a pretty good spike up and then of course the other rewards like supply jobs and XP will follow suit so guys I've shared some reasons why you should save supply jobs I mean if you actually can't resist the urge to save them then I guess go ahead and do it but it just does not make sense for me personally to save them up because cosmetic items do not really mean much to me in the game and I'm sure they don't really mean much to a good majority of the COD player base besides you look cool in the game. So uh, let me know if you plan on saving supply jobs in the comment section or not. Also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm Averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.